Regional Command East in Afghanistan has been deactivated in a ceremony at Bagram Airfield. After 12 years in major combat operations, the command and the combined joint task force operating here have completed their missions. Together, we have made a difference. We have made it matter. RCs deactivates today, and the 10th Mountain Division is heading back to New York. But I have a lot of hope for the future of Afghanistan. The 10th Mountain Division leaves Afghanistan as the last U.S. Army Division to lead a regional command. The area of operations now falls under the authority of a new command designed to train, advise, and assist Afghan forces. RC East was stood up in the summer of 2002, just after the 10th Mountain led the fight here in the opening months of Operation Enduring Freedom. Since then, it led the command three times. The East has been described as one of the most dangerous and volatile regions in Afghanistan. During this final rotation of OEF, more than 4,000 Afghan security forces and 66 coalition service members were killed in combat. According to Lieutenant General Joseph Anderson, enemy-initiated attacks in the east accounted for over 50 percent of all attacks across Afghanistan. The 10th Mountain Division leaves a legacy of security in eastern Afghanistan. Their support contributed to the killer capture of over 600 enemy combatants per month and the wounding of an additional 100 during the peak of this past fighting season. Today the enemy threat remains, but due to RCE's diligence and close partnership with the ANSF, the number of reported incidents is down nearly 32 percent from this same time last year. You've heard the history of RC East. Many great divisions have led the coalition effort here. But it was our own 10th Mountain Division here in the beginning, and it is fitting that it is the 10th Mountain Division here at the end of the Enduring Freedom and ISAF mission. Reporting from Bagram Airfield in eastern Afghanistan, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rich Stowell.